When roofs with home at even tide and trees pegged shadows to the ground, the tinkers came to Callan Bridge and camped beside the famine mound. With long eared ass and bony horse and blue green cart and caravan, and she, the fairest of them all, the daughter of the tinker clan. The sun flamed in her red, red hair, in her eyes danced stars of mirth, her body held the willow's rays, her feet scarce touched the springing earth. The night spread its star tasseled shawls. The river gossiped to its stones. She sat beside the tinker fire and sang the songs the tinker owns, the songs as old as turning wheels and sweet as birth throats after rain. Sweet wisdom of the wild, wet earth, the pain of joy, the joy of pain. A farmer going by the road to tend his cattle in the byre saw her like some fairy queen between the river and the fire. Her beauty stirred his brooding blood, her magic mounted in his head. He stole her from her tinker clan, and on the morrow they were wed. When the sunlight swamped the hills and bird songs drowned the river's bells, the tinkers quenched their hazel fires and climbed the windy road to Kells, and from his house she watched him go, with blue green cat and caravan and long eared ass and bony horse and brown haired woman and tinker man. She watched them go, she watched them fade and vanish in the yellow furs. A cold wind blew across the sun and silenced all the singing birds. She saw the months run on and on, and held the river fret and foam. At white of day the roosters called, at dim of dusk the cows came home. The crickets strummed his hidden harps in hidden halls behind the hob, and told of distant waterways where the black moorhens dive and bog them. Shoot the glassy bubbles up to smash their windows of the stones, and brown trout hide their spots of gold among the river's pebbly bones. And to the ebbing sea that flung a net of sound about the stars, said strange hills dancing her dreams, and meshed her to the wandering towers. She stole out from her sleeping man, and fled the fields that tied her down, her face was to the rising sun, her back was to the tired town. She climbed the pallid road to Kells against the sun, against the wind. In Glen Bay of the mountain stream she came upon her tinker kind. They bedded her between the fields, and there her son was born. She had a tinker's woman's praise before she died that morn. The years flew by like frightened birds that spill a feather and are gone. The farmer walked his weed from fields and made the tinkers carry on. No more they camped by Caron Bridge to blow their fires to fragrant flame. He watched him with his dog and gun. They spat and cursed his name. But when May hid the hawthorn trees with stars he stole from out the skies, there came a barefoot tinker lad with red, red hair and laughing eyes. He left the road across the field. The farmer shot him in the side. A smile went from his twisting lips. He told his name and died that evening when the neighbors came. He found the boy upon the floor and saw the father swinging dead between the window and the door. They placed the boy upon the cart and cut the swaying father down. They say a tinker woman came with them all the way to town. The sun flamed in her red, red hair, and in her eyes danced stars of mirth. Her body held the widow's grace, her feet scarce touched the springing air. They buried them with the heel of her nose, and eyes were moist, and lips were wan. And when the mound was patted down, the tinker made it was found. Now it's going to be hello and goodbye because I'm just leaving these folks around here, heading back for Limerick. But God bless you, good luck to you.
and they're enjoying themselves, they're having a great time. They'll certainly have a, a great time without me, I think, this evening. I'll hit lads. Off.